For Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet's son, an Episcopalian priest, see Thomas Thomas Gallaudet, the Reverend Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet, LL.D., December 10, 1788 to September 10, 1852, was an American educator. Along with Laurent Clerc and Mason Cogswell, he co-founded the first institution for the education of the deaf in North America, and he became its first principal. When opened on April 15, 1817, it was called the Connecticut Asylum at Hartford for the education and instruction of deaf and dumb persons, but it is now known as the American School for the Deaf. Biography Gallaudet was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. His parents moved to Hartford, Connecticut when he was 14. Wanting to be in the ministry from a young age he stayed behind as a youth minister, but because of health reasons he had to eventually move to Connecticut to live with his parents. He attended Yale University, earning his bachelor's degree in 1805, graduating at the age of 17, with highest honors, and then earned a master's degree at Yale in 1808. He engaged in many things such as studying law, trade, and studying theology. In 1814, Gallaudet graduated from Andover Theological Seminary after a two-year course of study. However, he declined several offers of pastorates, due to ongoing concerns about his health. His path in life was altered when he met Alice Cogswell, on 25 May, 1814, the nine-year-old deaf daughter of a neighbor, Dr. Mason Cogswell. Gallaudet had returned to his parents' home in Hartford to recuperate from his seminary studies. On that day, as he observed Alice playing apart from other children, he wanted to teach her. Gallaudet started to teach Alice what different objects were called by writing their names and drawing pictures of them with a stick in the dirt. Dr. Cogswell was impressed and invited Gallaudet to continue teaching Alice through the summer. While many of his friends became pastors or found mission fields overseas, Gallaudet found his mission field at home. The next year Cogswell, with several businessmen and clergy, asked Gallaudet to travel to Europe to study methods for teaching deaf students, especially those of the Braidwood family in England. Gallaudet found the Braidwoods unwilling to share knowledge of their oral communication method and himself financially limited. At the same time, he also was not satisfied that the oral method produced desirable results. While still in Great Britain, he met Abbé Sickard, head of the Institution Nationale des Sourds Mouets à Paris, and two of its deaf faculty members, Laurent Clerc and Jean Massieu. Sickard invited Gallaudet to Paris to study the school's method of teaching the deaf using manual communication. Impressed with the manual method, Gallaudet studied teaching methodology under Sickard, learning sign language from Massieu and Clerc, who were both highly educated graduates of the school. Having persuaded Clerk to accompany him, Gallaudet sailed back to America. The two men toured New England and successfully raised private and public funds to fund a school for deaf students in Hartford, which later became known as the American School for the Deaf, ASD, in 1817. Young Alice was one of the first seven students at ASD. In 1821, he married one of his former students, Sophia Fowler. They had eight children as well. Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet died in Hartford on September 10, 1851, aged 63, and was buried in Hartford's Cedar Hill Cemetery Plot Section 3. There is a residence hall named in his honor at nearby Central Connecticut State University in New Britain. There is also a residence hall named in his honor at the University of Hartford in West Hartford. Family His youngest child Edward Minor Gallaudet (1837–1917) founded in 1864 the first college for the deaf, which, in 1986, became Gallaudet University. He was president for 46 years. The university also offers education for those in elementary, middle, and high school. The elementary school on the Gallaudet University campus is named the Kendall Demonstration Elementary School KDES. The middle and high school is the Model Secondary School for the Deaf MSSD. Gallaudet had another son, Thomas Gallaudet, who became an Episcopal priest and also worked for the deaf. Gallaudet's father, Peter Wallace Gallaudet, was a personal secretary to U.S. President George Washington. When the office of the president was located in Philadelphia, Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet was the eldest of 13 children. 
His younger siblings' names were Edgar (1789–90), Charles (1792–1830), unnamed twins (1793), Catherine (1793–1856), James (1796–1878), William Edgar (1797–1821), Anne Watts (1800–50), Jane (1801–35), Theodore (1805–85), Edward (1808–47), and Wallace (18). 11 to 16. William Edgar Gallaudet graduated from Yale with a BA in 1815. Legacy just days before his death, Gallaudet received an honorary Doctor of Laws degree from the Western Reserve College of Ohio. Gallaudet University was named in honor of him in 1894. A statue of Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet and Alice Cogswell created by Daniel Chester French sits at the front of Gallaudet University. A memorial honoring the 100th anniversary of Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet's birth was erected in 1887 at the American School for the Deaf. A Great American Series 20 postage stamp was issued by the United States Postal Service in June 1983 to honor him. Sources Barnard, Henry, 1852, Tribute to Gallaudet, a Discourse in Commemoration of the Life, Character and Services, of the Rev. Thomas H. Gallaudet, LL.D., delivered before the citizens of Hartford, January 7, 1852. With an appendix, containing history of deaf-mute instruction and institutions, and other documents. Hartford, Brockett and Hutchinson, Download Book, http colon slash slash www.savourdschools.org slash tribute underscore to underscore gallaudet.pdf closing parenthesis Booth, Edwin, 1881. Booth's Reminiscences of Gallaudet, at the Wayback Machine, archived June 27, 2008, American Annals of the Deaf, Volume 26, No. 3, July 1881, pages 200-202. Gallaudet, Edward Minor, 1888. Life of Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet, founder of Deaf Mute Instruction in America, New York, H. Holt & Co., Download Book, http colon slash slash savourdschools.org slash life underscore of underscore Thomas underscore Hopkins underscore Gallaudet.pdf closing parenthesis Gallaudet, Edward Minor. Letter to J. H. McFarlane, undated. Published in Deaf Mute's Journal, Volume 51, No. 46, November 16, 1922, p. 2. Gallaudet, Thomas Hopkins, 1844. Letter to Horace Mann. Quoted in Heman Humphrey, 1857. The Life and Labors of the Rev. T. H. Gallaudet, LL.D., New York, Robert Carter and Brothers, pp. 209-212. Gallaudet, T. H. 1848. On the Natural Language of Signs, and Its Value and Uses in the Instruction of the Deaf and Dumb. American Annals of the Deaf, Volume 1, No. 2, pp. 79-93. Reprinted in, American Annals of the Deaf, Volume 142, No. 3, pp. 1-7, PDF, Humphrey, Heman, 1857. The Life and Labors of the Rev. T. H. Gallaudet, LL.D., New York, Robert Carter and Brothers, Download Book, http colon slash slash galleyprotest.org slash life underscore and underscore labors.pdf closing parenthesis Pete, Isaac Lewis, 1888. Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet, at the Wayback Machine, archived June 27, 2008, American Annals of the Deaf, Volume 33, No. 1, October 1888, pages 43-54. Recent Deaths, New York Daily Times, September 18, 1851, page 2. Accessed from the New York Times, 1851-2003, ProQuest Historical Newspapers, September 19, 2006. References External links Photographs of Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet Statue at Gallaudet University A sermon delivered at the opening of the Connecticut Asylum for the Education and Instruction of Deaf and Dumb Persons. Hartford, Hudson & Co., 1817. An elementary book for the use of the deaf and dumb in the Connecticut Asylum. Hartford, Hudson & Co., 1817. A discourse, delivered at the dedication of the American Asylum for the Education of Deaf and Dumb Persons. Hartford, Hudson & Co., 1821. Plan of a Seminary for the Education of Instructors of Youth, Boston, Cummings, Hilliard & Co., 1825. An Address on Female Education, November 21, 1827. A Statement with Regard to the Moorish Prince, Abdul Rahman. New York, D. Fanshaw, 1828.
The Child's Picture Defining and Reading Book, Hartford, Connecticut, H. and F. J. Huntington, 1830. The Mother's Primer, to teach her child its letters, and how to read. Designed also for the lowest class in primary schools. On a New Plan, 2nd Edition, Hartford, Connecticut, Daniel Burgess & Co., 1836.